Hi everyone. So this morning we're going to be making a completely uh, covered card. So it's completely covered in glitter and for that we're going to be using some of the double sided sticky film. So you can just see how lovely and sparkly this is. So uh, for this card we're actually going to use um, the tall trees which is one I've not used for a while and then also um, the snowman from the Christmas companions but obviously you could put anything in here that you want. So the first thing we're going to do is mask off our ground at the bottom here and then we're going to stamp the little snowman because we're going to have to mask him out so we can put some nice colour behind him without actually getting colour on top so let's just stamp him down in the middle so I'm not stamping all of him so I'm going to take him just below the hill Then we're just going to cover him up so i've made a little mask here it's just a little bit of carbon paper and we've just covered him over and use a little bit of double-sided sticky on the back so this is one i've used before so it is a little bit dirty so just excuse the the mess so now we're going to start to add some color around here so i'm going to start with my yellow And just blend so this will be northern lights now like i said i, mean, I haven't used a, a really nice clean mask for this one so you might just pick up a little bit of black off it because i've been stamping over the top of it with the trees but it doesn't really matter i think it all adds to the effect in the end okay so a little bit of the yellow so this is canary to give us our sort of northern lights look and then we're going to use a little bit of green tea and again you can see i'm working off this colour before I actually take it onto the card. So you can go right up to your snowman here and add some colour behind him as well. Because we know we've got him masked out there, we don't need to worry about getting anything on top of him there. So he's going to stay nice and clean underneath there. Now it is nice as well, you can actually do some nice sweeping movements in this. So usually I would try to sort of not get these lines actually. If you want to get a really effective Northern Lights, it's nice to have those little sweeping motions in as well. Now this is a little bit of peony. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of peony just around the edges, just around the snowman as well. So just like this. So when you've got enough color, you can stop and every single one of these is going to look different so let's just leave it there and we'll pop a little bit of black in as well so for this i'm just going to use my archive but you could use a black pigment if you wanted to so just little bits okay and then what we're going to do is cover this with the trees so we're going to take our first tall tree and we're going to do sort of um, second and third generation stamping with this as well. In fact, let's just pop in a little light first before we do that. So let's give the little snowman a ball of light here. And he can have his lantern. A little bit of red. So you can see I'm just getting rid of some of that first because we don't want it too bright. And then let's stamp our little lantern in just over the top there like this. So you see on the picture that we did, he was holding a little string of lights, but I'm going to leave that until right at the end so we know where all the trees are positioned. So then just ink your trees up really well. And then we're going to do second and third generation stamping with these. So we're just going to go over the top. So I'm going to go about here and do my first one. And then I'm going to move that along. I'm going to do another one. And we're basically just going to try and get as much out of this as we can. Okay, so this is with all your masks in place. So it will look quite messy first. Let's do a couple more with that one. don't worry about that because once we've taken everything away this is going to look lovely okay so let's do one over here 
and then we're just going to start to fill in with the other trees so this is probably the biggest one of all of them and we'll start to fill in now with some of the others so I was going to do this in grey, but because um, the grey is quite pale, it doesn't really show up very well. And the thing to remember is once you actually do your stamping and you put the sticky film over the top, it's actually um, a lot paler anyway. So it doesn't really matter that much. Let's go over here first. And then we'll go straight over the snowman and the lantern. So because I've done second generation over there now, the lamp still comes to the forefront of the design. So now we'll just fill in with this little one. So don't worry about how messy it's looking at the moment. Put a fluff on there, excuse me. Because this will all sort of come together at the end. So just a few of these. And we can just fill in. So you can see here that obviously the paler that goes, the more into the background this goes. Like I said, don't be frightened. I know it's looking kind of rather busy at the moment, but it will sort itself out. Okay, so all the way over until we fill them. Don't be frightened to put them at slightly different angles as well. So it looks a bit different. But also in that set, you have these little tiny branches as well. So you can actually just go over and just make this a little bit more dramatic. If you want, you can have little birds coming off these. So all sorts of ways to use them. So I'm going to take a couple just at the top as well, just here. So you just sort of fill them in wherever you want. Some extra little branches. The only thing to remember is if you've got a paler tree, use a paler branch. So just off stamp it before you actually stamp it on. So you've got a couple of those, but we've only used the one. Okay, so now we've done that, I'm just going to go around the edges and we're just going to start to blend so it'll just sort of soften any of this black area that we've got here. And then when we've done this, we're going to take away the little snowman. So we should have a nice clean snowman behind here as well. And there we have him. Okay. So you could, if you wanted to, not bother with the sticky film, but I just think having that overall sparkle looks absolutely beautiful. So we've taken away the hair at the bottom as well. And then I'm going to give him this little string that we had. And we're going to try and fit some little bells on here as well. So this could be little baubles. It could be little light bulbs from the vintage lights that we've got. So let's just pop a couple of these in. So let's see where we can fit them. Okay, so there's his little bells, and every one that you do will be completely different, which is lovely. So let's put a little greeting in as well at the bottom. So it's important that anything you do now has got to be done before we put this sticky film on. So just make sure you can cook really well. And remember, like I said, it'll be a bit more subdued when this actually goes on to your, when the sticky film sort of goes over the top of this as well. So we've already cut a little piece of the double-sided sticky film, which is on the website, uh, to size, or roughly to size. And what I've done is just peel back the top ed edge of here. So what I'm going to do is line it. Sometimes it's easy to stand up, actually, when you do this. I'm just going to lean forward a second, and we're just going to roughly line this up. Remember, you can always trim the edges if this is not exactly lined up, so don't worry too much. It's not really that noticeable. So gradually what we're going to do is just start to peel this back and then smooth this down with your fingers. It is quite um, quite tough, this paper. It's quite stiff, so it's actually very easy to do. It's got a nice, thick re release film on it. So all the way down until you've covered. So just remember, anything that's sort of hanging over the edge, we can just trim that off later. So once you've done that, just make sure that you've tapped this down really, really well. Now, it might be a good idea just to sort of let that ink dry for a bit before you put the sticky film over the top because it will be easier to release. Um, but I'm just going to pull it from the bottom because that's where there isn't any ink. So just make sure that your fingers are nice and clean. 
before we do this bit. And then the tricky bit, just peeling this top layer off. So again, just make sure that you have tapped this down really, really well. So you've run over it with your fingers and this should come away fairly easily, leaving this lovely coating all the way over your card, like so. Okay, now once we've done that, we can just go straight into our glitter. So make sure you use um, a nice clean piece of paper underneath you here, like that. And I always use a, a little tub as well because it makes it a lot easier when you're adding your glitter to it. So just a dusting of the glamour dust all the way over the top. And then you will find there's a lot of uh, glitter just sitting on the very surface of your card. So this is why we use a nice clean piece underneath. Because what we're going to do is just rub this into the card now. And you'll find a lot of this glitter will just release itself. And also you're sort of making sure any tacky areas have actually been coated. But also it sort of saves you quite a lot on glitter. It doesn't use anywhere near as much glitter as you would think it does. So can you see all that that has actually come off afterwards? And then this can then go back into your pot. So let's just move that for now. Okay, so that is our finished little sample. So what we can do on top of this, if you do want to add any embellishments, you can go straight over the top of your card with that. So any liquid pearls or anything that you want to add, just do this just at the end when you've put your sticky film over the top. Okay, so there's our completely glittered snowman card. I hope you like it. Thank you very, very much for watching. Take care. Bye.